have learned the identity of the young American woman killed by a lion in a safari park in South Africa. The questions tonight, what prompted this deadly attack and why do we continue to try to get so close to these dangerous wild animals? ABC's Hamish McDonald is on the ground tonight taking us inside that park. Like thousands of tourists, American Catherine Chappelle was trying to get a glimpse of nature's most majestic creatures at South Africa's Lion Park. She was taking photos, her window was open. According to the park, a lioness was standing just feet away from her car. That's when the close encounter turned deadly. The lioness lunging at her through the car window. It's directly through there this attack happened. The guards then came running, they moved the lions into the night enclosure. Help arrived very quickly but it was all tragically too late. Chappelle's windows allegedly were down, despite signs advising against it. That lion would not have been able to get into the car if her window was closed. The lion is now caged and the park remains open to visitors today. She could have been mating, that could have made her and the male aggressive, but you know, anything could have been the possibility. Whatever happened to prompt the lion's aggression, the park rule of no open windows is in place for a reason. You can take an animal out of the wild, but you can never take that wild out of the animal. So whatever you do, that animal still stays a wild animal and we need to respect that. Here, lions are not in cages, they're in open spaces. They'll lie in any area. We took a tour of the park to see the lions up close for ourselves. So we're just approaching the lion camp where this attack happened. And by the time you reach here, you've already been told quite a few times to keep your doors locked and the windows closed. And there's another sign at the entry right there. OK, so windows. Uh, windows closed. Almost immediately, we get an up close look at a pride of lions. Well, as you approach these creatures, the reality is that all that's standing between you and them is this glass. You can see how close we get to the lions. We've just driven in through here and there's a group of them sitting around, some of them sleeping, a white lion over there. And they can walk right up to the vehicle that you're sitting in. Surprisingly, even after the deadly attack, park goers seem unfazed. We see some people even now breaking park rules. Just a day after this attack happened, you can see the car in front of us is driving through these enclosures with the windows wide open. Uh, it's incredible, despite all of the warnings, people are still willing to take those risks. When you're up close to them like this, it is incredibly tempting because they're so peaceful, they're lying, they're sleeping. The reality is though that if they decided to go for you, they could get to you much quicker than you could put the window up. They're not domesticated, you have to understand they're wild animals, yeah. so you need to make sure that you treat them like that. The Lion Park issued this statement today. It is with great regret that this incident took place at Lion Park yesterday afternoon. Safety is always our first priority. We have many signs that clearly state that all windows and doors should be closed and locked at all times. Lions are predators and these animals should be handled and treated with great respect. When it comes to putting man and beast together, it doesn't always go well. The MGM Grand in Las Vegas, two trainers had this close call just a few years ago. And then there was 24-year-old Diana Hansen, who was killed when she entered a lion's cage at California's Cat Haven Park. The first is still in the enclosure with a lion. EMS, they will be holding back. And at safari parks where lions are often raised, fed and cared for by humans, cameras have captured plenty of close encounters. A family posted their close encounter with the roaming residents on YouTube. I know. You lost the lock door. Lion opening the unlocked door to their car with his teeth. Luckily, no one was hurt. Animal tourism is a huge business. Sanctuaries and guest farms like these have sprung up all over the place, giving tourists the chance to get closer than ever to nature's predators. These are wild animals. I tell people, this is their home. You always work with respect when you're in the wild or you're at a zoo. There are wild animals. They are still wild animals. In 2010, ABC's Robin Roberts visited this same safari park where the American tourist was killed yesterday. Even then, you can see how close people interact with the animals. Come and say hello to your daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. 
if you can just see the claws there. Yeah, I see them just fine. Here, tour guide Alex Laurenti gets very close and comfortable with the big cats. Yeah, 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 yeah. But why do they allow you to go in there? Because I'm seen as one of the family. Wow. You're either family or you're not. That's all my kids. And videos of so-called lion whisperers never fail to capture the imagination. Kevin Richardson, an animal behaviorist, seen here in this GoPro video, <laughs> rescued and raised these lions from birth. Even behind the loving embraces, their power cannot be underestimated. Richardson insists he's raising awareness about these majestic animals whose numbers are dwindling. There's a comfort zone of that person or those people and a comfort zone of that wild animal. And when the comfort zones cross, there's a train wreck. And usually it's the person's fault or people's fault when that happens. My colleague Alex Marquand visited the home of Annel Snyman and her boyfriend Sean Weber, who run a park out of her home in South Africa. Among other animals, they house seven big lions, including white lioness Vati. A quick nibble on the back reminds us of the same lesson. She is deadly. Annal doesn't let her guest in with the adult lion, but insists hers would never turn on her. They won't hurt me. They won't hurt you? No. I raised them. So I trust them and they trust me. Some say these kinds of safari parks should be shut down, but conservationists are quick to defend. Without these parks, the national parks, they especially let us see wild animals, and some of the private parks that let us do the same thing, like we have zoological parks in our country, if we can't have these parks, there's no way that these animals will ever survive. We have these parks to teach people and educate people. This is all our game areas. Back at the Lion Park, the rangers here have separated the killer lioness from the pack. Park officials say they won't put her down, but for now, she will be kept away from the public. For Nightline, I'm Hamish McDonald in South Africa.